Hey guys, I'm a new streamer and I just made a new YouTube channel. So uh, bear with me if I'm not doing very well. <clears throat> but basically what I guys want to show you guys is the streaming tab that gives uh, that the Hopodge gives you, which is the HD PVR2 Hopodge. Um, so basically what you want to do first is the easiest step is install your Hopodge to either your consoles or your PC. I'm currently using mine on my PC because I want to stream with League of Legends and apparently my s processor is not strong enough and I need to buy a new one which I cannot afford. So I bought a Hopodge and this thing is so smooth and so clear you guys are going to be really surprised. <coughs> Um, so once you guys finish uh, installing your Hopodge with the components and the HDMI's and the USB port into your computer and all that blah blah blah, what you want to do is you want to install the driver. The driver can be located on Google. All you have to do is type in HD PVR2 uh, download, and basically it's gonna be this one. It's gonna be support for HD PVR2 Hopodge. <clears throat> the mistake everyone does is they click the first download. The first download is for installation CD Hopodge, which is this they supply you with in that damn box. This CD is completely useless. Do not use it because it does not work. I beg you. Okay? Don't use the CD. So, yeah, since everyone makes that mistake, they don't scroll down to see the second one, which is the HD PVR2 Windows driver version. This is the one you want to click. Once you click this one, it's a say that it's downloading at the bottom left corner, and then once you open it, it's a give you like the Hopodge um, options, right? It's to tell you what drive you want to download it on, and then it's to ask you what um, platform you're using. Uh, platform, I mean, as in your gaming tools, as in are you using a Wii U, are you using a PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox, or PC? Uh, I'm currently connected to my PC because I'm watching leaks. <clears throat> but I know a lot of you want to stream live with um, your Hopodge, right? With uh, console games. I got a lot of people that want to play um, stream Smash Brothers, and I'm a big fan of Smash Brothers, by the way. So uh, I know how a lot of people feel. Um, a lot of people don't like OBS because I know. Uh, like me, a lot of people's processors can't handle the uh, the performance, and it keeps chopping or lagging or some issue with delay. <coughs> so basically, once you get to the options, um, click what platform you want and finish up the download. <coughs> once you finish the download, you're gonna get the uh, Hopodge um, uh, icon. It's called Hopodge Capture. It's a red, big red dot. You can't really miss it, you know. So once you open it, you get this. You get five tabs. You get um, capture, edit, YouTube, stream easy, and settings. So the tab you want to use is stream easy because you guys want to do live, right? <coughs> so for the settings for stream easy, is the first drop down is HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. This will always be there because you don't have any other options. <coughs> Um, so basically, this will say um, start device, start streaming, turn off stream, blah blah. Uh, this I'll get to you later because you won't have this option yet. For the video input, it's always going to be HDMI unless you're using a PS3. PS3 is different, you have to use components. Basically, the components come uh, in the uh, uh, Hopodge box. Audio is also HDMI. Line is for, I believe, PS3. I'm not sure I didn't test that yet because I don't use PS3. For the mic input, obviously you choose what microphone you're using. I have the webcam and I have Realtek. Realtek is also, I have a uh, speaker one that is like not a headset one, obviously. <coughs> uh, game setting, this is the sound of your game. How loud or how low do you want to be while you're streaming? This is, you know, um, I would say, uh, one of the most important because if you're playing, for example, a shooter game, you know how gunfires are extremely loud when you play. 
this you want like a little you want to touch this up a bit do some streaming tests and see what the volume sounds like voice obviously that's your voice when you're talking into your microphone there's a lot of problems with this actually I found out one problem uh, I had my uh, the voice about halfway and when I was doing a test stream with a friend he said he couldn't hear my voice or like I sound like a mouse I couldn't figure out why but like I increased this to maximum and I was still sounded the same he says no dude it's either your microphone is broken or like the stream easy is a piece of crap like you know your voice you can't be hurt a lot of people had this problem so please like this is an easy way to fix it well I think one of the easiest way to fix it at your bottom right corner you guys see like your volume speakers all you have to do is right click hit playback devices go to your recordings tab and right click the uh, microphone you're using go to properties and click levels levels sometimes you can see your microphone to like the lowest like here or here you might want to put it like to the max depending on your volume so again check what your voice sounds like microphone boost is always there to boost up your uh, your voice but I wouldn't recommend it because this will screech your uh, your your vocals your voice once you finish doing that you hit OK OK and you go back to your hot patch capture um, again play with your voice see how it um, works out with you on your stream you might have to play with it a bit to get it just perfect your uh, PC audio is basically the audio of your PC. So basically, like let's say you make an error on your Windows, it will display, it. it will alarm you with that ding, ding, ding sound. You know, like basically, it's I wouldn't much put that up anyways because people don't want to hear you playing around with your computer. You know, they just want to hear your voice and your gameplay. Stream quality, most important. It's just like OPS. You need to um, see what your uploading speed is, which is speedtest.net speedtest.net you I will put the link below in the description um, so for example let's say your upload speed is at 10 um, same thing as OPS OPS recommends you or the highest is 3.5 sadly in this one you can't put 3.5 but you can't put 3.48 which is the second highest to 3.5 that's why I put um, if it doesn't work out for you for the uh, megabytes per second there's also this is a great thing that um, Hopodge did is the added auto scaling. What auto scaling does is it automatically scales your upload and your stream. So basically, like let's say you are chopping or you're lagging or your voice is not um, going as like your voice is not going along with your stream, right? It's like it's delaying. This will automatically fix it for you which I find is amazing. Um, I had a friend of mine who couldn't figure out his stream quality and he was auto scaling and it worked out perfect for him so either way it's better. Um, for services is basically your um, thing you're streaming with so the options it gives you is Twitch, Ustream, and YouTube. I choose Twitch because I stream on Twitch. The channel is your channel name of your streaming program thing. So basically mine is Twitch, so all you have to do is, is it give you options to say login. Once you hit login, it's to give you this. Put in your username, put your password, exact same thing as Twitch. It's just on this hub hodge and login. Once it logs in, it'll give you the option to hit location. Location you want to pick the closest one to where you live. I have I knew someone who lived in uh, Toronto and he put fucking uh, what's it called? Not for San Francisco. He fucking put Paris. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? Dude, you don't even live near Paris. You're like fucking God knows how many hours away, you know? You wanna pick the closest one to you because it will improve your connection. Please do so. <coughs> um that's pretty much it. Um, what I do have to warn you about is if you are streaming and you do this with your hopodge, it will cancel your stream. Cancel, I mean stop your stream, which is, I find, very fucking annoying. I don't know if it occurs for everyone, but it does occur for me. So what I do is I put it 
I have three monitors, so I put it on the smallest monitor, and I keep it still at the corner. And if I move this screen an inch, it stops the, the streaming. So that's not good. I hate that. So basically, I'm going to show you guys the um, how to stream now, like to turn on and all that. Basically, you're not going to see this right now. You're going to see turn on device. That's important. People make mistakes then. When you hit turn on device, it doesn't mean you're starting your stream. It means you're turning on your hopage, right? You're you're getting the device working. The next tab you're gonna see is off air in red, and you're gonna see start streaming. Once you click that, then you will start streaming. <coughs> so a lot of people got confused with this, and people are asking me why, how come um, my stream is not working? Because I have a lot of friends that have this hopage, right? So once you click streaming, at the bottom of the screen, you will see um, your Twitch name. But it should pop up. Yeah, see? Streaming to um, colons, HTTP, your Twitch name, right? So to open it faster, if you want, you can just click it because it's a link, right? To see if it works. So basically, this is my Twitch. Basically, it's Lao with a zero at the end underscore stream. <coughs> To see if it works, you get this screen. Uh, a lot of people again have that gray screen, and it did. It, they say that it stays at that gray screen. The reason why it stays at the gray, gray screen is because it's Twitch's fault. Basically, Twitch says if it's high definition, you have to refresh the page. You can refresh the page with the circle arrow here, or you can just hit F5. Simple as that. Once you refresh the page, you you should see the live. Um, icon at the top right and obviously you should see your stream obviously you guys can see it I just set up my hopodge I just did the downloads I didn't do anything else and look my hopodge is streaming right now you can see exactly what I'm doing I can open League of Legends you guys are exactly see it you go open my videos you're gonna see it you know like my Skype oh, my Skype's on my other screen but whatever see basically you guys can see everything I'm streaming right and it is super fast there's no lag no nothing I'll show you the gameplay, but I'm gonna make another video for that. For now, it's just like a tutorial on how to like set up your uh, easy stream. So basically, um, I think that's pretty much it that I want to cover with you guys. But um, I did mention about moving the hopod screen around and it would crash. Um, oh yeah, also one more thing: people ask if you can do overlays and webcam. Sadly, you can't because the hopodge is only for video capture. It was not never meant to stream. Hopefully, in the future, they do add those um, options. But for now, it's only for gameplay. So, um, Easy Stream didn't even exist like about like a year or two, right? It was just capture, edit, YouTube, and settings. There was never Easy Stream. <coughs> um, a lot of people ask me if you go in settings, there is a webcam settings. But it that works, but it only works for capture. It doesn't work for easy stream. I tried it. I tried a bunch of um, ways to try and get it to work, and it does not work. <coughs> Sadly, and um, I think that's pretty much it. That I wanted to cover with you guys. Yeah, I can't think of anything else, but anyways, if you guys have any questions or like if you want me to like explain something even better than I did, this is actually my very first video for YouTube, please leave me a message or a private message and I'll try and get to you as soon as possible. Um, hopefully you guys can like hit the follow or subscribe button and help me out. Hopefully I did well in this video and I want to thank you guys for um, watching the tutorial. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. Later.